What's up guys, it's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Android device as a microphone for your computer. To get started, install the free application called WoMic from the Google Play Store. There is a pro version for $3.99 if you want to remove ads and for improved audio quality, but this one should get the job done. Unless you end up wanting to purchase that, you can go ahead and do so. While similar applications do exist in the Google Play Store, WoMic seems to have the best interface and it's the most recently updated of the applications. It also has three useful connection options. You can connect via USB, Bluetooth, or Wi-Fi. For the sake of this video and because it's a little bit more complicated than the other options, we're going to go over Wi-Fi. And in addition to the application, you'll also need to install the client package for either Windows or Mac. Now you can find this link within this guide over at Gadget Hacks. And just so you're aware, if you are using a Mac, you can only use the Wi-Fi option. Upon launching the application, enter the settings and select transport. Now we're going to select the way we're going to connect this device. We're going to use Wi-Fi. You can also edit the control port and media port if you want to do so. But we're also down here going to select our audio source. So whatever you're going to be using this for, go ahead and select that. I'm just going to do the mic for right now. And then you can go back and make note of this IP address above the microphone and hit start. So on my computer, I have opened the Woe mic client. And all I'm going to do is enter the IP address that was provided within the app. And then hit connect. And then if you want to test it out, go ahead and check. Whoop. Playing speaker. Playing speaker. So you can so hear you can it. Hear it. Maybe I'll lower that. So there you, so go. there you go. So as, as you can see, it works pretty well. Now you may have to adjust the settings within particular apps that you're using it inside of, but other than that, it's pretty useful and it's a cheap alternative if you don't want to go out and buy an actual microphone for your device. This is definitely worth trying out before doing so. For more information and the links that you'll need for this process, check out the full guide over at gadgethacks.com. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit the subscribe button for some more awesome and very useful gadget hack videos. Thanks, guys.